In Idaho Springs, Clear Creek County Clerk and Recorder Brenda Corbey has American flags on her car. Because I am fighting for our democracy. And boots made for working. I wear boots a lot. As she puts right. up signs reminding voters that the ballot drop box that had been at City Hall for years for the first time ever has been moved. We've moved our ballot box from City Hall over here to the Health and Wellness Center. Where drive through drop offs will be easier for voters. So they can just drive up and drop the ballot right into the box. But they also move those ballot boxes to a better place where they can keep a better eye on the voting process. Part of my job is making sure that everyone's ballots are secure. The hope is that the ballot drop boxes will be safer under the surveillance of cameras. And the sheriff's office monitors them. And I'm also able to view them from my own office. And if anyone questions the results of an election. That is one of the biggest concerns right now. There will now be a video recording of all the drop offs. So people can check that out and make sure that, you know, they're seeing their ballot going in. They can see our judges that are collecting the ballots during the election period and know that their ballot is secure. Which is why Brenda says she's got those work boots on. Just in case I need to kick some. You know what? While she's working to keep these elections secure. Getting the information out there and the facts and the truth are crucial during elections. And making sure those elections are secure or making sure those cameras are in places where they're going to run all the time. Here at the Medical Center in Idaho Springs, their surveillance cameras are on a generator that can run 24 hours a day, even if there's a power outage. And then Jordan, also, um, they've got these all over the place by statute and also by population. Clear Creek County only needs to have these drop boxes in one place, but they've got them here, they've got them at the high school, and they've got them in Georgetown. So they're really going to great lengths to make sure that people can vote and then also making sure it's transparent and there's a lot of accuracy and facts behind it as well. Yeah, certainly transparency is the name of the game. You know, Matt, I think the idea, right, is that if there's any little bit of skepticism about our election security, these elections officials are saying we would like to fight that at whatever cost. That's exactly what's going on here. They want to make sure that no stone is unturned and that they're completely transparent, even inviting people to watch the process, to ask them about the process and making sure the process is done correctly, especially in our current times when there's so many election naysayers out there. They want to make sure that they're doing everything they can to prove these elections are safe and secure. Yeah, we appreciate their efforts. All right, Matt, thank you so much for that.